Welcome to Deep Universe Updates. Please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for more updates. Breaking news, something far more dangerous than any political standoff is brewing beneath the surface of the South China Sea. The South China Sea hides a deadly secret, one that has nothing to do with ships or borders, but with the very ground beneath the waves. While the world's attention is often drawn to territorial disputes and military maneuvers, few realize that a much more profound threat is quietly building below. Beneath the busy shipping lanes where thousands of vessels cross every day, a geological monster lies in wait. This is not a threat that can be negotiated with or deterred by force. It is a force of nature, patient and relentless, biding its time. Scientists warn of a silent growing pressure deep beneath the ocean floor. This is the story of immense power and profound risk. The world's focus is often on politics here but the greatest threat is not man-made. Instead, it is the Earth itself, quietly preparing for an event that could change the region forever. It's the Earth itself, preparing to unleash its fury, the Manila Trench. For most, it's just a name on a map. For geologists, it's a ticking time bomb. Here, the planet's crust is being torn apart and consumed. The energy being stored is equivalent to thousands of nuclear bombs. When released, it could trigger a mega-earthquake, reshaping coastlines and lives across Southeast Asia. The South China Sea floor is diving beneath the Philippines, a process called subduction. It moves at the speed your fingernails grow, but over centuries this builds enormous stress. The rocks bend, strain, and lock together, until one day, the lock breaks. The last time such a rupture occurred, entire communities were wiped out, and the scars are still visible in the landscape and in the memories of survivors. Today the pressure is building once again, unseen and unstoppable. The result a sudden violent slip, a mega-quake shaking the region's foundations. The silence from the Manila Trench is the calm before the storm. Scientists see the warning signs and the steady buildup of strain. They monitor every tremor, every subtle shift, knowing that one day, the quiet will be shattered in an instant. The devastation could be catastrophic with tsunamis racing across the sea, cities crumbling and millions of lives at risk. Their message, don't be fooled by the quiet. The longer the silence, the more powerful the eventual roar. The threat is real, the countdown has begun. Ignoring it could have consequences too dire to imagine. Preparedness is not just a precaution, it is a necessity. The world must listen to the warnings, respect the science, and be ready for the day when the silent threat beneath the waves finally awakens. What is the Manila Trench? Hidden beneath the restless waves of the Western Pacific, this mysterious feature is one of the planet's most dramatic and least understood geological wonders. It's a deep, narrow scar on the seafloor, carved over millions of years by the relentless forces of plate tectonics. The trench lies just west of Luzon and Mindoro, two of the Philippines' largest islands, forming a natural boundary between the Philippine archipelago and the vast South China Sea. Stretching for hundreds of kilometers, it plunges over 5,400 meters below sea level, deeper than most of the world's mountains are tall. Its immense depth and length make it a formidable feature on the ocean floor. This is a major subduction zone, a colossal conveyor belt where the South China Sea Plate dives beneath the Philippine Sea Plate. Here, the Earth's crust is recycled, melted, and reborn in a never-ending cycle. The process drives earthquakes and volcanoes making the region part of the Pacific Ring of Fire, a volatile zone known for its frequent seismic activity and explosive eruptions. The trench sits dangerously close to millions of people. Major cities like Manila, Taiwan, Hong Kong, and vast stretches of southern China all lie within reach of its powerful influence, their populations living in constant proximity to potential disaster. Subduction zones like this are responsible for the world's largest, most destructive earthquakes. The devastation they can unleash is sudden and overwhelming, reshaping landscapes and lives in an instant. Only these zones can produce magnitude 9 or greater quakes, events so powerful they can be felt across continents and trigger tsunamis that travel thousands of kilometers. The Manila Trench is long, straight and the plates are converging at a rapid pace, increasing the risk of a major seismic event with each passing year. Scientists see a perfect machine for generating catastrophe. They monitor the trench closely, searching for clues that might warn of the next big quake, but predicting the exact moment remains impossible. The fate of coastal communities is tied to the movements deep within this submarine canyon. Every day people live, work, and build their futures in the shadow of this hidden threat, often unaware of the forces at play beneath their feet. The danger is not theoretical, it's imminent. Preparedness and awareness are crucial. As the next chapter in the story of the Manila Trench could unfold at any moment, changing lives forever. To truly grasp the risk that lies beneath our feet, we must first understand the slow, relentless movement of the Earth's tectonic plates, a process that shapes our world in ways both subtle and catastrophic. Earth's surface isn't a single unbroken shell, instead it's fractured into massive plates, each drifting, colliding and grinding against its neighbors. 
These movements are so gradual that we rarely notice them, yet they are powerful enough to reshape continents and create mountains over millions of years. One of the most dramatic examples of this process is the Manila Trench, a deep underwater chasm where the immense Eurasian plate is forced beneath the Philippine Sea Plate. This subduction zone is a site of constant tension and potential danger. The plates don't simply glide past each other, instead, immense friction locks them together, preventing movement for centuries at a time. This locked state allows stress to build up, hidden from view but ever-present. As the lower plate is slowly forced downward it drags the upper plate with it. This action stores vast amounts of energy, much like a giant spring being wound tighter and tighter year after year. Here the plates converge at a rate of several centimeters each year. Over decades and centuries this adds up to meters of potential movement, enough to unleash enormous power when finally released. Eventually the stress becomes too great, in a matter of seconds, the fault ruptures, sending shockwaves through the earth and shaking the ground above. The overriding plate suddenly freed, snaps back to its original position. This rapid movement releases all the stored energy in minutes resulting in a megathrust earthquake, one of the most powerful forces on the planet. The rupture can extend for hundreds of kilometers, violently uplifting the seafloor and altering the landscape in an instant. This upheaval is both awe-inspiring and terrifying. This sudden shift displaces vast amounts of water, sending a tsunami racing across the ocean at jetliner speeds. Coastal communities may have only minutes to react before the waves arrive. Centuries of silent, invisible buildup can end in just a few moments of unimaginable devastation, leaving cities and lives forever changed. The slow, almost imperceptible dance of the tectonic plates ultimately leads to a few minutes of terrifying violence, a reminder of the immense power hidden beneath the Earth's surface, always waiting to be unleashed. The locked fault is the heart of the Manila Trench threat. Imagine pushing a heavy box until it suddenly jerks forward, that's what happens here. The fault has likely been locked for 400-500 years, accumulating over 40 meters of potential slip. This long silence is a classic seismic gap, a warning sign for a massive quake, the longer the fault stays locked, the bigger the eventual earthquake. The Manila Trench is a geological time bomb, with stress building along a vast segment. When it ruptures, the break could spread rapidly, unleashing a megaquake. The shaking could last minutes, not seconds. The energy release would be almost unimaginable. This is not a distant threat, it's a countdown. The region sits atop a loaded gun. The silence is not safety, it's a warning. Picture the day the Manila Trench ruptures. Without warning, centuries of friction give way. A 500-kilometer stretch of seafloor is thrust upward by up to 15 meters. A magnitude 9 earthquake erupts, shaking Southeast Asia for minutes. Infrastructure collapses, bridges, roads, power lines, especially in Manila, where liquefaction turns the ground to liquid. The human toll is catastrophic, but the quake is just the beginning. The seafloor's sudden uplift displaces a massive volume of water. A tsunami is born. Within minutes a wall of water slams into the Philippines' west coast, leaving no time for warnings. The tsunami surges miles inland, sweeping away towns. It races across the South China Sea reaching Vietnam, Malaysia, China and Taiwan within hours. Major cities like Hong Kong and Ho Chi Minh City are in its path. The region's complex geography could amplify the waves. The disaster would be regional and global. We've seen this before. The 2011 Tohoku earthquake and tsunami in Japan was a magnitude 9 event. The tsunami reached over 40 meters, flooding hundreds of square miles and causing nearly 20,000 deaths. Even Japan's advanced systems underestimated the threat. The Manila Trench presents a similar underestimated risk. The 2004 Indian Ocean tsunami, triggered by a magnitude 9.1 quake, killed over 230,000 people across 14 countries. Many had no warning system, the tsunami struck without mercy. The South China Sea today lacks a comprehensive integrated warning system. A Manila Trench tsunami would cross borders, demanding international cooperation. The lessons are clear. Seawalls can fail, models can be wrong, and lack of preparation is deadly the parallels are stark. We ignore these warnings at our peril. The next catastrophe could be even worse. The Philippines lacks a long written history of earthquakes and tsunamis. This silence hides the danger, not proof of safety. Scientists turn to paleoseismology, studying ancient sand layers left by tsunamis. Along Luzon's coast they've found evidence of prehistoric tsunamis, powerful enough to inundate the land. These sand deposits confirm the Manila Trench's violent past. The geological record tells a story human history forgot. The fault is not dormant, it builds stress for centuries then releases it in a single, violent event. These clues are fingerprints at a crime scene. The long quiet is just the interval between catastrophes. The evidence is clear, the threat is real and recurring. The whispers from the deep warn us, this is not over, the next event is only a matter of time. Today, science gives us a clearer view of the Manila Trench's threat. High-precision GPS stations across the Philippines measure the crust's movement, just millimeters per year. 
The data is alarming. The Western Philippines is being squeezed. The fault is locked and loaded. Modern instruments also detect slow slip events, silent earthquakes that may signal a coming rupture. These events can increase stress on locked segments, pushing them closer to breaking. All this data feeds into computer models simulating the subduction zone's physics. The models agree, the Manila Trench can generate a magnitude 9 quake and a devastating tsunami. Science is not just confirming the threat, it's making it urgent. The alarm bells are ringing louder than ever. The risk is measurable, not just theoretical, we know what's coming. The time to act is now. The consequences of a Manila Trench megaquake would be staggering. Millions live in low-lying areas directly in the tsunami's path. The loss of life could rival the 2004 Indian Ocean disaster. The economic impact would be global, crippling ports, shattering supply chains and costing trillions. Recovery would take decades, yet preparation is dangerously inadequate. There's no unified warning system and public awareness is low. Many communities lack evacuation plans or drills. Building codes are not enforced to withstand a magnitude 9 quake. The time for complacency is over. Governments must cooperate, invest in education and enforce stronger codes. We must listen to scientists and prepare. The Manila Trench is a loaded gun pointed at Southeast Asia. We can't stop the earthquake but we can survive it, if we act now.